Welcome to Good Mythical More. Products are never satisfied with themselves, so they come out with newfangled versions to trick you into buying them. But are they better than the original, like a bouncer versus a ding dong? <laughs> a bouncer dong? Um, and Insta bowls, I've never had. That's exciting. Cereal where you just add water to create milk? I'm so ready for that. But first, let's listen to our latest voicemail. Brett and Link, your refrigerator is running. Well, we better chase after it. Well, that's not really how you do that. <laughs> hey, it doesn't really work in a voicemail. You have to ask. But I guess you thought about that, and that's why you said the state. Gwen, come on in here. Gwen is going to guide us through the old and new of snacks. Um, oh. And then afterward, can you check on our uh, refrigerator? Oh, yeah, I'd be so happy to. Like, track it down. Hi. I hey, thought there Gwyneth. might be a second How are you half doing? of that voicemail. Great. So good. That was it, huh? I am intrigued by, I did not know that this existed. It's new, yeah. So what, so, so what you been up to in relation to this? So like we're always trying new products. Yeah, it's I heard worked, that. And then like a lot of the times they are updates on foods that we know and we love. And then like, so this one I think is unique because it's like, it's still just, it's Fruit Loops, but it's you add cold water and stir to create real milk. Yeah. Let's start with the Doritos, though. Let's do it. Take us through it. So, I mean, we know what So yeah. these taste. We got our nacho cheese Doritos and then screaming sriracha. There's there's so many flavors of the Doritos that... They're kind of constantly coming well, out my favorite, new ones. My favorite flavor of Doritos mm -hmm. is Tapatio. Uh, and so I'm interested yes. to see how they're doing with these. Okay. And I've never I, had these. I completely agree with you on Tapatio Doritos too. It seems like one of those things that like maybe couldn't be improved upon because I think nacho cheese Doritos are so good, mm -hmm. but the Tapatio ones are awesome. Wow. You have heat, heat that gives you chills. Hmm. That is very good. Do we have chills? I don't think it's as good as the Tapatio ones. Okay. That is interesting I don't know if it's though. as good as the regular ones. Okay, uh, I just had a regular one. The heat is, it really kicks in. I have like a really powerful smell to them too. Yeah, that sriracha garlic. It's weird. Yeah. Hmm. It's, I'm, I'm looking like for the chills. There's like a fish sauce in there. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of the chills. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, they're good. I, definitely I think it's kind of good. I don't think that I would, I don't know, it's almost like too much flavor. If that's possible, if you like heat, you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna want to try these. These I are think. gonna sell well, because I think sriracha, I mean, sriracha has to be more popular than tapatio. Like, yeah. I think it's got more yeah. national recognition. Definitely. They didn't use the um, the rooster. The, the rooster's not on here, which is interesting because it is registered trademark. You have to pay extra for the rooster. Oh my so, god, they use like um, yeah, you can just see like the like, silhouette of the bottle. Yeah, it, it, this is like creepy, like. I don't know, post Halloween, I don't know how that's gonna work. <laughs> I know. It won't, it won't work anymore. Mm. I actually didn't, yeah, I didn't even think about them being like Halloween related, but they probably are. I don't know are. if they are. If you don't like spicy snacks, like me, you're gonna wanna go back to this, which I did. They are really spicy, I appreciate that. Yeah, and it keeps coming. L let's have some fake milk Yay. out of water to okay. pull ourselves off. So, Can you pass the purple milk yes. for the original? Purple milk? Oh yeah, Rhett, we're gonna use your purple milk, okay. buddy. And then we have, what, well, oh thank you, sorry. <laughs> I was really struggling. You know, struggling is welcome here. Thank you, oh you my know god, what? I feel so at home. We are friends of the struggle. <laughs> Winnie, what's, okay. some, what's some like entertaining things you've done in Los Angeles lately? Because I feel like, you know, you know, yeah, let's, we're let's kind of on that. the same wavelength. When you talk about okay. like your weekends and the things that you do, I'm like, you know what? Like, cause we're not, you know, we've got all these like, these Don't young, that, these young you whippersnappers pour, around yeah. here and they're they're, they're doing all kinds okay. of, they're, you know, these young whippersnappers in their 20s are doing all these things that yeah. we just don't relate to and understand anymore. Is this a reverse com compliment? No, uh, a reverse <laughs> no, insult. No, I'm just saying that Tell me what every, the older time, folks every time Gwyneth <laughs> talks about the stuff she's do she does, I'm like, I think mean, that would be fun. I had, um, okay, celebrity sightings, are we into that? Oh yeah. All right, I have a good one. But now you can't share them at the company-wide meeting. <laughs> I know. That's the oh first God, part I'm of our company-wide meeting. Spoiling it. Yeah. Okay, 
So I went out to dinner for my anniversary with my husband. Congrats. And How long y'all been together? We have been together for 12 years, married for seven. See what I'm saying? Seven's a good seven's We're, we're a good all number. in a different age group. We're all in a different <laughs> sounds, age group. Sounds old to me. <laughs> yep, if it looks old and it sounds old. <laughs> um, so um, we walked into the restaurant and sitting at the table was Brian May from Queen, Roger Taylor from Queen, and Brian May, the, the yes, he doesn't have that anymore though. <sighs> I think he does, doesn't he? No. Oh yeah, he, he never, the, he never quits it. He what has just, no the hair? Reinforcing. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. She saw two people from Queen, yeah. y'all. <laughs> well, y'all don't know what you're missing. No, no one knows who Queen epic. is. <laughs> we we do. I okay, do. Good. We no, do. See, I'm glad I asked. Everyone you. knows and, who Queen is. And what but when you, you say specific to? names of people in Queen, that's okay. the that's the dividing. Freddie line. Mercury heard that, of him. Uh, come on, uh, uh, Bean. Okay. You're not going to be seeing him. Anymore. Yeah, he won there. <laughs> Only my dreams. Okay. What what um, was the restaurant? Uh, Angelini Osteria on Beverly. You see, you see what I'm saying? It's probably a great restaurant. It was a good restaurant. So, so when it's been there and recommends it, it's good. Let's take yeah. a look at this. Um, We're all going to the Saddle Ranch. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah. Right. Yeah. You guys don't know which too. way's up. <laughs> Insta bowls, delicious milk and cereal in a splash, add cold water and start to create real milk. So when I look at that, it's just, it's just cereal. Where's the, oh, okay. The in the it's in, oh, it's hiding in there. You there, need to pour water in there and mix it. But don't go there, too deep. There's just a white powder Oh, in is there. there a line? So there's a fill line, yeah. Go to the fill line, right there, the little dark line. Is that? Yep, it's right below the bottom of the cereal, the top of the cereal. I think, okay, well, we'll see. I'm gonna go a little less, just a little less. Oh, oh, you don't trust the system. Well, I'll go right to it. It's engineered, man. I'm gonna go right to it. Doesn't it feel to weird to pour water on cereal? Uh, I've already I've already used this. I, this is a clean spoon. So you want to you want to you want to stir that? You gotta yeah, like yeah. yeah, really give it a zhuzh there. And so when you highlight this stuff on Spork, you're if it sucks, you're not you're pretty much not gonna highlight it, or you're gonna highlight it and say it sucks. Yeah. So we still yeah we do new product reviews and we will tell you if something is not good. Okay. Yeah. But um. Is it well, whitening? Let you, it, it, let takes, you guys try it, it takes like a this. little bit to get it all mixed, but it definitely has become the color of milk. Almost a teeny bit. So I'm going to try to just get some of that milk in there to show you. It's really interesting. and Milk. Milk. I mean, it looks like milk. Okay. Well, grab a bite. I guess it is. I mean, it's just dehydrated milk. And you've, you've tried this before. I have tried this before. And would you just think you were eating milk? I, yeah, I did. I actually thought, I think it tasted like a little bit better almost in a weird way. Maybe it like absorbs more of the flavor of the mm. Fruit Loops or something. It's it's a milkier. It's a stronger milk, milk. flavor. It yeah. is a more pungent milk. Whoa! Like they've compensated for your your water, your waterness. You had a milkier milk. Yeah, I wonder, I mean, is that like, as opposed to 2%, is it like, 110%? I don't know, it's very good though. I'm going back to purple milk and just to. Yeah, I thought this was a really neat. Do you want to try it um, with a clean spoon before yeah, sure. I go so in there? So I thought this was I'm a Because I'm gonna idea. keep eating this. Okay, see, it's good. Yeah, well, I'm, it's, I'm really. It's, it is definitely different. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. That's good as well though. It's, Especially the purple yeah. part. Yeah, there's something like, I don't know. Yeah, there's something really good about like the milk flavor of it. I mean, is it just condensed? But what, what mm -hmm. it, condensed yeah, it milk like is like powdered. Sweet. It's just powdered Powdered milk. milk, yeah. So like, yeah, reconstituted with water. But you can like send your kid to school with that and stuff without having to give them a thermos of milk. Yes. Milk you can, cereal for lunch. How come this hasn't happened until now? I'm like always suggesting things to go camping with and that seems like a camping thing too. Very. That's a good one. I almost never camping. go camping either. And you can put boiling water in there. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a hot Fruit Loops. <laughs> My God, porridge. All right, okay. so let's, we got Ding Dongs. I couldn't tell you which one is a Ding Dong. That one? That's a Ding Dong. Okay. They look so, they have like a really rocky terrain that I wasn't expecting. I mean, what's the point? Yeah, they do. Like they're really, What's oh, the difference in a bouncer? So I actually don't know. Um, I was hoping we could discuss that. Okay, so it says snackable, poppable, shareable. So it's just like. Well, does it bounce? That's what I want to know. I'll catch it when it bounces. How does it bounce compared to a regular <laughs> to, thing? <laughs> oh, that thing landed like a hockey puck. Yeah, it thudded. <laughs> if you're throwing your food, go for bouncers. Yeah, it bounced a little bit more. How are they sell? <clears throat> Excuse me. 
I'm gonna have to drink. Yeah, what does it say on the front about ding dongs as the call out for uh, bouncers? These are ding dongs. Chocolate glazed ding dongs, mini cakes baked with real cocoa. So oh, there's a they're packable mm -hmm. for camping. Yeah, I see. Or for kids, there uh, there's five pouches in here, and Stevie, you're asking how is it's like a. It's just like a smaller, rounder ding dong. In a pack of five. Yeah. yeah. And being you know, pretty kind of, honest about it just being a ding dong, basically. It's a bag of ding dongs, is basically. It's a yeah, bag yeah, of ding yeah, dongs. Yeah, yeah. Eat a bag of ding dongs. Um, but. I'm gonna try one. I like, I think they're, I don't know, they're a little dry, but I think they're good. I like that the name bouncer is actually kind of aggressive because it sounds like it would throw you out of a bar for being too drunk. Right. I mean, taste-wise, it's very similar. Um, you feel a little bit less guilt in eating one bouncer versus one ding dong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the bouncers are a lot better. Oh, I love They're that. They're not nearly as. They have less filling inside of them, I think, and I don't appreciate that. But. They're not as creamy, yeah. There's more icing in each bite because they're smaller. I think that the outside is different. These taste. Okay, I love that. And you can also get bouncer Twinkies and bouncer cinnamon donuts. They went donuts. all in on the bouncers here. Okay, we got some Oreo. Uh, so th th yeah. th there's not a lot to rave about here. It seems that everybody wants to move on. <laughs> I feel like yeah. I, I feel like if you want a little bit smaller of a ding dong, and who doesn't? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Get a bouncer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because bouncers seem like they would have big ding dongs. <laughs> they do. You know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not what they're hired for. I right, didn't right. think about yeah. Don't, okay, bouncers, ding dongs, love it. <laughs> <laughs> what about Oreos though? <laughs> now we have Brookie O Oreos. Now we're familiar with our regular Oreos. So yeah, we, we just are. Need, what is it? What is a Brookie? Is okay, it a cookie is, dough? Yeah, it's like. Um, oh my gosh, Link. A cookie dough Oreo. It with has chocolate a and regular brownie cream. Brownie and okay, so like brownie dough and cookie dough, and then also what? Oreo cream. Three layers. Yeah. Let's deconstruct this. This. Well, it doesn't look nearly as cool Crum. in person as it does on the box. So I see those two layers. How do I get the? Once it comes off on one side, how do I get it off the other side? Oh, I don't know that you can. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna just. Oh, I did it. Intact. You did it. I, I did it. it. There it is. Look at so, that. Look at that. And am I just gonna eat that now? What do you think? That's pretty tasty. Okay. Yeah. It tastes like maple -y to me for some reason. I don't like it. Mm. I, don't, I didn't really like these either. I Something thought, about it. I, I, the I cookie, have a lot of trouble that, with these. It's that fake cookie dough flavor. Mm. Like I don't like like I don't even like it when I have to eat cookie dough that doesn't have the eggs. In it, it is mapley. Are you just eating another your one? filling by yourself by itself? I just want to have just the filling. Okay. I want to just concentrate mm -hmm. on the. I don't want your filling. <gasps> You're gonna I'm not hurt filling your filling. You, you just, I know. You just hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah, after you ate my air <laughs> earlier, I should probably yeah. just take your filling. I know. How was it? I'm just gonna I'm gonna go back to the nachos. <laughs> It was alarming once I realized what I was doing. Wait. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, right. once air is in a balloon, you don't think about okay. that it's come, Who come it from somebody. I to. always think I about know. that. Someone's filthy long air. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anytime I see a balloon flying through the air, you know, like one that's been like unleashed and it's like, I think about the air that's coming out. <laughs> okay. So we are saving Cinnamon Toast Grunch for last. I do want to say one more thing about the Brookio's, and it's that when I ate the cream by itself, it has like crunchy things in it, which also seems like super unnecessary because the cookie is a crunchy thing, right? Yeah. That tells me people are crunch. dismantling these and eating the cream by itself. Yeah, which is not a exactly not a fan of this. Okay. I just did. I got excited. Not a fan. Well, I'm not a fan. I'm actually not a fan either. I think that you just are better off with like a regular Oreo. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna disagree with that. Yeah. Oreo got it right the first time. Now, before we see that last one, we want to remind you that Gwen is not over there just tasting everything under the sun just for kicks and giggles. <laughs> for ding dongs or donuts. For your benefit. So you can go over to spork.com and see all the things that they've reviewed. New snack flavors, the latest seasonal stuff, 
all kinds of new product reviews. So subscribe to Sport on YouTube as well. They got a YouTube channel. Yeah, we do. This stuff holds up. Okay. Cinnamon so, Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. One of we the most pleasing cereals on the market as I mean, determined by us. I completely agree. Okay, and then the new variety here is Cinegram Toast Crunch. Oh. So it's like kind okay. of like they're attempting to do a little bit of like it's, um, wait, what are Golden Grams? That's yep. like a Golden Gram Collab. Cinnamon Toast Crunch hybrid I don't know All right, give sort us, of situation. Give us a little pour here. Let's each taste a little bit. Okay. We're going to do it with... Uh, Purple milk. Now, ever since I tried the cinnamon churro crunch, I think they're called cinnamon toast churros. I've really perked up with anything that cinnamon toast crunch is going to cerealize. You want purple milk? Because I actually liked the churro better than the regular. The, yeah, better than the regular. I actually didn't try the churro ones, but they sure sound good. They're um, they're crunchier for a little longer. The problem with cinnamon toast crunch is that it w it'll really get sog mm -hmm, mm -hmm. quick. Yeah, I think that's true. I did agree. you did you pay attention to what the Queen boys ordered for food? Um, no, but I will say, okay, so the lead singer of Death Leopard was with them too, and the table started okay. getting a little loud as the party went. Oh, oh yeah, it got a little yeah. hysterical. Yeah, yeah. A little hysteria. <laughs> Those guys know how to have a good time. They do. We old people. Mm hmm. I might think I was eating golden grams. Not an improvement. Too much cinnamon, in my opinion. Okay. Too much gram, in my opinion. The cinnamon is the thing that was always there. Okay. They added the gram, dude. I did. I agree with you that it is not an improvement. Mm -hmm. I think that cinnamon toast crunch is perfect, and this is just like eh, it has like try the churro. Little, yeah, I will try the churro. Something the about churro. the gram. It's exactly the, the same taste, out. but then it's just crunchier longer. Mm. I thought I was gonna whisper in your ear because I'm just trying to cross my legs, and it seemed like I was leaning in. <laughs> I love watching Gwyneth's face us. as you guys eat something because I can never tell. Like I can never tell if you're gonna be like. I liked it, or I didn't like it. It's always like a reveal, but you always look very happy watching them experience eating something for the first time. You watch the show? I am. This is my joy in life. You watch the show every morning? Yes. You just watch us eat? You ought to see her watch Queenie. Oh, my God. It's all I do on the weekends is watch other people eat. <laughs> Sorry. What's your favorite true. Queen song? Um... Killer Queen, maybe? That's a good one. Yeah. It's a really good one. What about the one about the bicycle? <laughs> There's the bicycle, bicycle one as well. What about You're My Best Friend? I think that song's a little corny. Aww. <laughs> well, Link sends it to me every every Best Friends Day. That's sweet. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I ride over on my bicycle and then I play it for you on the boom box. <laughs> <laughs> Head on over to Sporked.com for reviews of new products, taste test rankings, and more.